Welcome to our Apple for Service Provider screencasts. In these screencasts, I want to show you as an agency, a web development company, or a service provider or software development company, how you can benefit from the open source platform Apple for Service Providers. Apple for Service Providers is made to be one central platform to manage your projects, your business process, and to automate workflows. It will help you to get a collaboration between your project teams and your customers. Starting from this screencast, I want to give you an overview how all these applications that are included in Apple will help you to get your daily work done and how they integrate with each other. In the next screencasts, I want to show you how you work in detail with each of these applications. Starting at the front page, on the very top we have a user navigation bar where you see the latest time tracking and user related links leading the user to views that show only user related content. On the left side you will see the search where you can access content by entering some keywords that you want to search for and below you will see the Apple menu that makes all other applications included in Apple accessible. For example, the contacts, the sales activities, projects, invoices, and reports. On the dashboard, starting on the left side, you will see your personal calendar. This contains your today's appointments, either the ones you individually created or appointments from deadlines of projects and tasks or next sales activities where you have to get in contact with your customer today. On the right side, you will see your assigned tasks and tickets. From this view, you can easily start your time tracking by just clicking the time tracking button and you see that it starts immediately. Clicking to another time tracking will stop the previous one and start the next one. This will make the time tracking functionality very easy. Below you will see your bookmarks. Every content in Apple can be bookmarked. This bookmarked content will be shown in your bookmarks view, either on your dashboard or as every widget has a more button leading you to the detail view, you will be redirected to your detailed bookmarks view. You can rearrange your bookmarks to give them a priority and while saving this priority will be persistent. Below you see a list of unbooked time trackings. These are time trackings that have not been finalized yet. You see your current running time tracking here. Let's start with the contacts. For every business process a contact needs to be created. You can add your customers, your freelancers and other business partners to this central contact list. You can create a new contact or access an existing one. In the detail view of a contact, you can see all the contact information. You will see related person of this company that you are currently viewing and you have access to all sales activities, projects, invoices, contracts and sales forecasts. Of course, on almost every data, you can leave a comment to make some notes and to make communication transparent to your team. From a contact view, you can start a new sales activity. This sales activity will be added to the activities view. In the missed activities view, you will see all activities where the next contact date is overdue. In the next activities view, you will see the activities that you should catch up in the next week. And in the all activities list, you will see all your activities. You can create a new activity or access an existing one. And if you view an existing activity, you see first your customer and the contact information. And below you will see all related information of this sales activity. Below this information, you will see your forecasts 
for example, the volume that you expect, the chance that you have to succeed in the sales activity, and when you expect the order. On the right side, you will have a quick access to change the current status, to change the next contact date, to track your time, to measure how efficient your sales process and your sales teams are, and to assign another team member to this activity. He will get an email to follow up this activity with a customer. Below you will see a list of all comments and you will see what changed in this comment. Adding a new comment. You can change the status and you can set the next activity to interview your customer about his satisfaction. You can change in the details the related contacts, for example, add other stakeholders. You can directly create a new one within a pop-up or you can relate an existing one. Save this comment and see below all the changes that you have made. Of course, the contact that you added will be listed in this list of related contacts to this activity. If you succeeded in this sales activity, you can create a new project from it. The new created project will be added to the list of all projects. While viewing a project, you will see some project information. And on the right side, you will see basic information such as the customer, the CRM activity and the time information that helps you to keep track of your time budget in this project. Every project consists of tasks for the development, tickets for customer support, files of the project, appointments in this project in the calendar, time trackings in this project, and if you develop software, releases. The list of your tasks, in this case, it's the Gantt view. You can also change this view to a tree view where you can rearrange or change tasks to subtasks. You can collapse them or you have a simple list view where you have a list of all your status and your tasks. When accessing your tasks, you can use again the comment functionality. Assign this task directly to another person change the status to ready to test and submit this comment. The person you assigned will get an email and you see all the changes that you have been added here. You can add price information to each project and to each task to automate your revenue creation and your invoicing. I will show this in the next screencast where we see how you can work in detail with the project management tool in Apple. Let's switch to the documents. Documents are created for concepts or for quotes. Each document consists of a tree that represents your pages and subpages. You can also change them again with a track and drop functionality. You can create pages and subpages and you can add estimations to your pages. If you use your document in a project, you can add tasks to each document page. In a Scrum based project, we recommend to add user stories as one page or requirements as one page and to add tasks as tasks below this page to ensure that your development team develops everything that matches the requirements of your customer you promised in your quote. Of course, all documents and all pages have a revisioning system that helps you to get previous version back and compare the changes. You can also use template system and files in your document and you can export your documents to an open document format that will enable you to edit your documents in LibreOffice, OpenOffice or in Microsoft Word. We continue with the file management system. All files are stored in this central view. 
you can access one single file and you will see where it is used and you can see all the later versions of this file and access them by a single click. All files that are added to any kind of content, for example to contact, sales activities, projects or tasks, will be added to the central file management. That will help you to not duplicate data and not upload files again and again if you want to use them on another data set. Invoices and the base for each invoices are billables that represent your revenue are the most important part of Apple. Billables are created whenever you track a time to a project that is paid per hour or whenever you close a project or complete a task that has a fixed price set. If you want to create your invoices, you can either do this manually by clicking to create a new invoice and filling the form, or you can go to your billables list, filter by your customer, select all its billables, click create invoice, execute this function, and then you have your invoice as a data set and as a PDF. Of course, I will show you in the next screencast how you can customize the layout of your invoices and how you can create billables in your projects and how to create invoices. You can add payments to your invoices to keep track of the balance called saldo in your invoices or you can change the payment state directly. Screen will show you that everything is okay and the invoice was paid within the payment date. Switching to the calendar, you will see all your appointments if you click to own calendar or all your appointments where you have access to of your team members. You can create a new appointment or you will be able to change existing appointments by drag and drop and you can filter, for example, only to show CRM. In this case, we don't have any. Or any other category of appointments in your calendar. You also have an overview over the whole week or a single day. This is what you can see on your dashboard screen. Contracts are used to automate, for example, hosting contracts, support contracts, where you have a recurring revenue. That means you will create an invoice every month, every six months or every year. And where your customer gets a time budget on his project where you give support to him. These things are automated in Apple. That means every six months or whatever kind of payment period you added to your contract, a new billable is created and added to your invoices list. At the end of the month, you will create invoices until your billable list is empty. That ensures that you did not forget to bill any revenue. On the other side, you can automate the budget allocation of your projects. If you reference a project to a contract and this contract has a budget period, it will add, for example, 10 hours of time budget each month to your project. With this, you can easily control your time budgets in your projects and get an email notification if a budget is almost empty. In the reports, you will see any kind of company related reports. In this case, we see our profit of one selected project. You see your expenses, you see your revenue, your profit, and you can access details to see what led to these expenses. Beside the project reports, we have CRM reports where you can report, for example, your revenue. In this case, you will see the revenue of the month June and July. 
Again, you can access all the details to see how this revenue was created. You also have reports for expenses, leads, customers, sales forecasts, sales plans and expense plans. More about these reports will be shown in the next screencasts. I hope you got a very good overview over how Apple can help you to get transparency in your business processes and how it can help you to integrate all your workflows and teams into one platform. I'm looking forward to show you in the next screencast how to work with your CRM to keep track of sales activities and to manage your contact relations. Thanks and see you in the next screencast.